Hello and welcome to our Virgin Realms. I'm going to be playing on the server and make some videos about it. But as you can see, this is an ordinary Minecraft server. Here there are cutscenes for quests, new mobs, new furniture items, a completely new ore, and many other new things. And the best part about it is that you don't have to install any mods and can just play on it like any other server. So I'm going to explore all the new stuff and share it with you in the videos. Okay, so I just spawned here. Probably came with the balloon. Looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, all the things here lying around looks absolutely amazing. I really like how the server looks. Hello. Just kidding, my name is Orbit. Welcome to Origin Island. Before we dive into the fun, speak with Conductor Carlo and visit your new realm. I have to speak with Conductor Carlo and visit my new realm. Okay. I think this is Conductor Carlo. He looks like a conductor. Mm -hmm. The weather is looking fine today. Perfect for flying. Mm. You can travel around the network using hot air balloons. First, mm. let's travel to your very own personal realm. Hop on board and select the mm. type of realm you would like to live in. Mm. Okay. So I just go in a, in a hot balloon. Mm. Realms. Okay, I can pick my own realm. Mm. I think I'm going to pick forest. Okay, I'm on my realm. I've looked around on some other realms and I really like how this realm looks. So I'm gonna stick with this one. Really like this with the water here and like mountains in the back. So I'm going for this realm. Back in spawn now. I'm gonna explore it a little bit. It looks absolutely insane. This fountain looks absolutely amazing. All the models and the water looks really cool. I really like it. Cute little dog. So I have to go to the ruby exchange. I can already see it there in the distance. This is where I have to go. Who is this? Hmm. It's Dwight. <laughs> it's Dwight from the office. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Okay, bring bring. Let's go here. Talk to him. Robin Banks. Welcome to the Ruby Exchange. Here we are responsible for keeping everyone's wealth safe. Mm. There's a lot to learn about the Ruby economy. If you're interested, I could show you some things. Yes, show me. Okay, really cool cutscene. Mm -hmm. Rubies are used for many things. To use them efficiently, you need to store them in your bank account. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I could spare these three of my own to get you started. Go along and deposit them over there. Okay, at the thing there, with the ruby on it. Okay, give me the rubies. Give me, give me, give me. Let's deposit them here. 35. Damn, I'm getting rich. Turn to Robin. Let's see what Robin has to say. Look at you go. That wasn't so tricky now, was it? Now you can buy whatever you like around town. Mm. My friend Paula sells apples near the fountain. You should say hi and buy something with all those new rubies. Okay. I'm gonna find Paula and purchase something. So here's the fountain and Paula has to be close here somewhere. This could be Paula. What's that? Robin sent you? Take a look at our apple selection. Hello, I wanna buy some apples. Four rubies for one apple. Damn, that's quite expensive. Did you know that you can use rubies to buy, sell and trade all around town? Take a moment to explore our denial. Whenever you're ready, you should visit Jacko at his farm. Okay, gonna visit Jacko. Who are you? Worker Shane. Building resources? Okay, you got some blocks, yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, this is like a lumberjack. He sells and buys leaves and logs and some saplings as well. Okay, I think I made it to Jacko's farm. Look at this sign. Looks absolutely amazing. Really cool. So where's Jacko? Are you Jacko? Ah, he doesn't have a question mark but on his head. Hey, I think this is Jacko. Howdy, my name is Jacko. And this is my farm. I like mm -hmm. to teach you about how you can use our planter's box to farm more crops. What do you say, partner? Okay, let's learn how to plant the crops. All right, so while you're watching the cutscene, I'll quickly explain how the farming system works. You can buy seeds for all kinds of crops from Jacko. The planter's boxes are used to grow those crops. When you open your planter's box, you can see two bars. The first one is the amount of water and it will determine how fast your crop will grow. You can simply refill it by using a bucket of water on it. The second bar is the level of soil, which can be refilled by bags of soil. 
The level of soil determines the quality of your crop, so make sure to always keep it as high as possible. The higher the quality, the more you can sell it back to Jacko. There are three different levels of quality, one, two and three star crops. You can put your seeds in the second slot of your planter's box. The third slot is for a produce multiplier, which can be bought from Jekyll alongside other farming technology items, like the bag of soil. And that's all you need to know to become a master farmer on Origin Realms. Dude, look at the light tower over there. Looks really cool, with the light sticking out. I really love the server. Hey, we got here the fabric furniture. Let's see what this is all about. Looks really cool. We can buy all kinds of furniture, okay. Okay, we can buy f these for rubies. Let's see what you have to say. Fabia. Did you know that you can paint almost everything here? My husband Rick can tell you all about it. Okay, guess that's Rick over there. Okay, Rick. Man, this is a pirate or what? <laughs> Let's see what he has to tell me. Welcome to our humble furniture shop. Mm. While you're here, let me show you our new painting table. Yes, show me the new painting table. I want to know it. Mm. A crafty product is nothing without a splash of color. Our painting table allows you to paint our products, all of mm. your favorite colors, for the small price of a few rubies. We need to earn some rubies somehow. So, mm. I'll give you this chair I just built to try painting for yourself. Go on. Let's try painting this chair. I'll pick it up. Okay, look at this really cool chair. So I go in here. I can put this chair inside. And then, oh my god, this is really cool. I can put all these colors in. Oh, what color am I gonna pick? Blue? I think I'm gonna pick a red chair. For two rubies. Nice. Oh, he wants it back. Mm. That wasn't so hard, was it? Mm. I'll tell you what. Since you've been such a great sport, you can keep that chair free mm. of charge. If you ever need to paint anything, be sure to come back to visit. Have a great day. Okay, that's cool. I got four, so I made two rubies profit. Nice, nice. Look at this. Arcade. Oh, I can even sit on this chair. This is cool. It isn't finished yet. Oh, they're building here something. Oh, they're building for the arcade something. I guess. Is this like an arcade building? Can I look inside? They're building. He isn't building. He's just looking at me. Oh, cool. We also have some machines over here. Just look at these machines, man. Looks absolutely amazing. The details. Really cool. Right, this is gonna be cool. I guess it's like for a future update where you can like play on the arcades bloop, 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 and whatever. Really excited. And also like all the details just on the server, like just planks lying around. I don't know, all the textures and whatnot. Everything that is here it looks so good. All right, so I got two planters boxes set up. Next up, I'm gonna need some better gear and I also wanna start building on my house. I really wanna try building with the new blocks. But that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.